What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are playing some Rim Hammer the End Times with the Dwarf Boys. We get these two moved. We're getting the floor smooth, even though Bindor is trying to sleep in there. And things are generally going okay at the minute, minus the toxic fallout from a mushroom fire. Bear, what? Oh. Yeah, bear's got to be restricted to temp bear. He's eating the bodies, so that's good. Oh yeah, bear's doing okay. All the blocks we had in here were used. Can I get somebody to build this? We don't have any wood unforbidden. So let's do that. That should get one of these fellas to do it. There we go. Let's re-forbid that. Alright, good. So we'll have a forge in a minute. Doing great for coal. We need to find steel yet. That is definitely on the list of things to have here. Oh well. He's had enough of working on that for the minute. <laughs> I don't know where he quite went, but that's okay. Alright, so how's Bindor's room now? Slightly impressive. Bam. And now where are you headed? You're going to go to bed. Boom. Playing horseshoes. Refuel this for me. There we go. It doesn't really make a lot of light. It doesn't shine very far. I moved the workspace out here. So we'll build a copy of that. And then let's add a bill. So we have a shooty guy that needs something. We'll make a crossbow. That's going to require wood and steel. Fair amount of wood as well. So let's unforbid two of our stacks. Simple meals just rotted away. That's not great. That one's going to go in five hours as well. I bet you there's no animals left because everything dies in the toxic fallout. That's too bad. We may have to kill the bear. Man, bears do great for food. They eat a lot. But they hold it for a long time. Ambrosia rotted away. That's too bad. So who is my smith? You're a six, four, three. Well, I guess the six guy is getting it. Gall. Awesome. He's already working on it, in fact. And then I think it was Barundi. Was the other shooter? Oh man, this guy's. We need to get him a great hand weapon. You have brain damage. You. Maybe we mix it up a bit and make a few of these. Well, there's nowhere in here that's totally dark. Alright, we have a crossbow. Burundin is here. You equip that. Bam. Get rid of these junky human weapons. So I'm tempted to just uninstall this. It's ripping through fuel pretty fast. Oh, maybe it doesn't use any if it's not being actually used. So that's fine. We're getting some meals made with the last vestiges of our rice. Yeah, we're going to have to do something for food. Yeah, everything is dead. <laughs> Grizzly bear, dead. Steel club, garbage. What's that? There's a desiccated muffalo. So, 3.9 and 3.7 days. What do we have everybody equipped with? One guy still has a crappy little knife. So let's see about researching basic dwarven melee. That's going to tie Gaul up for a while, but that's okay. 
making great progress here. Yeah, this doesn't use anything if no one's actively using it, so that's great. You are just hauling stones around, huh? How's the bear doing for food? If he gets low, we'll just let him... Uh-oh. <laughs> that guy's going to be gone as well. We may have to kill the bear if the fallout doesn't end soon. We're on about five days here. A bunch of snowmen dwarfs love building snow dwarfs. Bind doors are nighttime, bro. Barundin still needs some armor. We could do basic dwarven armor as well. Get everybody armor for summertime. It's heavy, so then they can't haul as much though, so that's a bit of a problem. Come on, toxic nonsense. End any second now. What if I unrestrict you? Will you go eat? He's not moving too fast. <laughs> I don't have to forget about that. And then the bear's going to die. Yeah, we are making great progress on these, though. In fact, this zone can be shrunk way down. And then these can be moved as we need to. And let's shrink the zone this way as well. Just somewhere to put them. When they're all gone, we'll just keep a space in here for them. What can we do for production yet? We could start some planters. I'm worried that if I build them, I won't be able to move them. We could try it nonetheless. We're short on steel, but we have a ton of limestone, so let's just try it and see what happens. They are not quick to build, that's for sure. Bandit camp. They will send us silver fine dwarven axe and devil strand dwarven toque. Now you're talking my language. Let's see where that's at. Not that we have the food to get over there, unless it's really close, but... Okay, yeah, it's pretty far away. For people with no food. Four days. Go trade with our nearest neighbors. So if we can't uninstall this and move it somewhere, I don't know where. I guess we'll have to deconstruct it at some point. Come on, toxic nonsense. Over five days. Okay. Uh-oh, what happened there? Hmm. Interesting. So we want stone root. Well, rice is going to grow faster. Yeah, we can't move it, turns out. Interesting. And sucky. <laughs> For now. Hey, a raid is on. A group of chaos abominations from a chaos den have arrived nearby. Alright, it's one spawn. I just added Razor Gores to that mod today. He's going to bash that door in with little issue. Should be able to handle this guy without much trouble, though. Let's get over here for when he comes in. All right, we got two bros with crossbows. You dudes go there. You're going to be, like, guarding the front. You're going to be there. You have a good axe. So you can go up there, and we need to make you something yet. Here he comes. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, nice. We don't want to eat this guy. He's going to... Oh, well, that wasn't much of a threat. Stupid spawn. So, we should get him butchered up. We'll get some chaos spawn hide. In desperate times, we can make meals out of him. This may qualify as desperate times. Where are you headed? Hauling a lynx, huh? Where was this lynx you're hauling? Oh, I'd forbidden these doors. There's the issue. Yeah, I'm sure the lynx is... Like, there it is. <laughs> it's nothing but a friggin' skeleton. Oh, we do have this guy at least. That guy's dead. I don't want anything rotten in here. Let's do that. And then there's nowhere to put it. I guess we'll have to allow rotten... 
Man, I don't want to put animals over there. I guess we make a second zone. Here. Critical, clear. Animal corpses. No fresh. There you go. That'll solve it. What do you have now? Gathering a short bow. Well, that seems like a waste. Considering you have to go out in the toxic nonsense to get it. What are you going to work on, partner? Hauling Rika. Uh, just leave that person there. Now what are you hauling? Hauling a wild boar. So at some point, there's a bunch of great stuff out here. We have to follow his little trail. Ah, oh, jeez. We were going to come all the way over here for a boar? No. Now you can clean. Oh, the bear is eating that person. That's good. That's good because the bear might have to be broken down soon. So these chaos critters might have been added after the fact. So... Razor Gore is not on there. What about Chaos Spawn? Oh, he's on here. So who's our cook? Muggins is our cook. Smoothing a floor. Cannot butcher. Need material. Oh, is Brendan working on it? Brendan is our doc or our cook, in fact. So eating chaos meat will cause chaos taint. And that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> also a bit of a problem is the fact that we have no food. So I guess we're going to go for it and see what happens. They're going to get unhappy too. You get a negative mood issue from eating those things. The bear has no more food. So let's cook one more. And then suspend. You go do something else, partner. And these are not growing too fast. So we need a grow room. That's evident. This looks like a great spot. What's more working on? Smoothing floors. Ugh, we never got through all of our floor smoothing. Well, priorities, man. Priorities. So the plus side of stone root growing without any... How far do we want to take this? Let's go eight. Stone, stone root growing without light is that... We can plant a bunch of it over here and just do its own thing. That's fantastic. And we can build about 13 of these. I'm going to assume it's going to work similar to regular hydroponic beds. They don't, you don't grow as fast in them because I made them, so I know that. <laughs> but uh, toxic fallout, 6.3 days. We need that to settle so that like we can finally get some food in the ground here. We're going to shrink the rice zone significantly. And expand the stone root zone. We'll probably make them bigger than that yet. Our door got rebuilt for whatever that's worth. Bind door, what are you working on other than trying to get yourself a case of turning it into a chaos spawn? 16. So let's see. Health. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Bindor. You have toxic buildup. And it's only getting worse. It was actually improving a bit, but. <laughs> That's alright. What are we putting here? This is raw food. Alright, let's do a little zone. Eh, we'll just change it when we need it. That's fine. Alright, so let's build some copies of this. We need to get some food going. ASAP. And we have the blocks, so... I'm going to stop them before they put rice in there, which is difficult, but it is what it is. 
I think we might take this. Another tick back so that we can have a walkway in the middle. Like up and down. There's our bear. He needs. He's doing okay. People are eating the meals, so we should check the health. See, he has chaos corruption now from eating a chaos meal, and he probably ate cooked chaos meat. Yeah. All right, this needs to be stone root as well. How's this one doing? 16%. It's going to be a while. What else can we make for weapons here? We can do... Dirty old human weapons, but we're working on getting some nice dwarf hand weapons here, so that won't be long. And we still need to find a good vein of steel. I might do some exploratory mining and see if we, what we can uncover. Somebody finish this damn thing. He ate chaos meat. Oh, very nice. Okay. So, bills. Add a bill. So we can make a pickaxe, a great hammer, a double-headed axe. Let's do that. That'll be fun. That's going to take a lot of steel. 165. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Oh, awesome. There you go, people. Toxic fallout over. So let's expand our rice zone a bit. And let's expand our stone rut zone a bit as well. We should just take this stupid wall out of here. I think we should. Never once done anything with it. We don't really want it there. It's just in the way. Oh, what happened there? Could not find a siege spot. You know what? I'm going to copy these and save them off. This one makes sense. They can't siege us because... It's an impassable mountain map, so that makes perfect sense. This one, however, is a weird little air. I'll just note it. It doesn't break anything. It's just because there's an empty line here, but maybe I can fix it. Okay, let's see who's raiding us. It's tribes people. Looks like they're going to hang out for a quick minute. There are five of them this time, which isn't great. Why aren't we, cannot grow, bad seasonal temperature, bad seasonal temperature. So they won't plant when it's 46 degrees, apparently. These need to both be stone root. Somebody's already working on that. Our stone root's in the ground. This stone root. It says resting. Interesting. Maybe because it's nighttime. Check out Bindor. He's just chilling out. <laughs> hey, here they come. I suppose we should probably do something about that at some point, huh? <laughs> God, we never got our floor smooth. Let's say get over to our door. Of course they don't show up. Oh, there's Muffalo. We could do some hunting and solve this food issue straight away. We still have a bunch of chaos meat laying around, too. And a rotten freaking boar. All right, you guys, come with me. Here they come. That was good timing. All right, so you're up there. You're up there. You're down here. You're like right there. Okay. Get them, boys. Get them. Oh, God. We suck. Yep, we suck. Yep, we suck. <laughs> there you go. All right, we're going to have to send our melee bros out. You, get them. Ah! Nice work on the armor stoppage. Ah, oh, Mogans. Come on. Pick a different person, buddy. Can you guys shoot that dude? Why aren't they running yet? Oh, because Dan's up there. Oh, well, Mogans will engage Beam. You will engage Dan. I'll get you to engage there. You know what? If you engage that, uh, you might get hit by a crossbow bolt. Bindor standing around with his thumb in his keister. Oh god, Mogans, don't go down, buddy. One more goes down and we win. Ooh, Gall got hit as well. We don't have any death in 18 hours. Jeez. 
no immediate danger despite all that well the bear's got plenty of food speaking of which we can we're going to allow chaos meat here because it does cause corruption and I think we're going to allow meals I don't think we can say meals made with chaos meat and these are going to last 2.9 more days we're going to go do some hunting let's make this one important no you know what let's just ban chaos meat bam all right get that moved you sir can go anywhere you'd like you bros as you were get all these bodies hauled get all these weapons hauled they're still attacking hey we got him in the back he's not gonna get out of here now what are you guys doing melee attacking you're never gonna catch him he's human you have dwarf legs what are you doing Okay, so the cast meets get moved, the rotten corpses are getting moved. We need people to get tended straight away. Where's Mogan's? You should get yourself tended first. Hopefully reasonably well. Ooh, 0%. That was bad. 15%. Yeah, we gotta get our traps set up. We're just short on steel, so we haven't really been doing anything due to that oh man do we have a second dock Barundin where are you good you're tending to Gaul those are our only two injured people Mogan's got it pretty bad there and eating more cast meat <laughs> let's uh let's our doors are oh geez they just destroyed this one for the fun of it man We need to go out there and hunt some of those dudes. Because we need the meat. What are you equipped with? You have a crossbow. Come with me. Over here. See if we can kill a couple muffalo. Hopefully the whole herd doesn't snap on us. And you. Come down here. Nice work, buddy. Get it. Alright, shoot that one. Oh, beautiful work, sir. Should tame some of these guys so we can make some more toques, but... Just keep popping these dudes off. <laughs> We're just gonna chase this herd everywhere. Finally shot something. Alright, next. <laughs> oh man, they're going to snap on us eventually, right? Holy blood, look at this. <laughs> Alright, different guy. No, over here. Uh, Who's upset? Burundin, the dude I'm using to hunt these guys, of course. Nice work. Can we just injure a few more of them? Look at that. He's already wounded right there. Oh, good. That one's gone down. What's its health? Death in two hours. Fantastic. Uh, let's shoot backwards. Bam. There's our bear. Coming around to find himself some eats, probably. We're going to fill these dudes full of holes. Alright, Bindor's grabbing that one. Burundin's going to snap for sure. Oh shit, Buffalo Revenge. Run! <laughs> uh, this is bad. He's going to go down. And we just made him that nice weapon. No immediate danger. Is that one injured? Death in 10 hours. Alright, you're going to be required to distract this bastard. Oh, you might get away. Not so likely. Death in 10 hours. 
How long is it going to take us to walk back? There's our bear. Maybe our bear will defend us here. Get over there and shoot that bass. You shoot it too. Pow. Right, keep running. Alright, now you guys run. Now that it's wounded again, the bear's like, I don't give a shit about this thing, man. Oh no. It's still catching us pretty fast. Brendan is... Completely... Alright, beautiful. You guys go about your day. Alright, tell me we got some meals, man. Doesn't look like it. Hope. Good thing the whole herd didn't snap on us. That could have got really ugly. Is this chaos meat? No chaos spawn meat here, man. Come on, get that shit moved. What are you guys doing? We only have 72 chaos spawn, hide. He's hungry. Great. A little more corruption. Never hurt anybody. Gall, you got hurt by it too. No, you're still hurt from before. Alright, where's Mogan's? Who's my doc? Burundin? Yeah, it was. Health. Self-tend. Get up and tend that. Oh, man. Crushed leg. Bruised leg. Bruised somewhere. All right, well, maybe he won't snap, but I think he's gonna. <laughs> Serious pain, observe rotting corpses. Oh, well, maybe by the time he wakes up, that'll go away. Drowsy, sick, chaos corruption. We should do a tally on this. They were eating those meals. Who's my cook? Is it Brundin? Yeah. So we're not gonna get any meals. Did what? What just happened there? Why is there rice in that? Stone root, man. Stone root. Can't be growing rice. Needs. Oh, dude. Can I get you to just get up and cook or something? Yes. Thank God. Before the whole colony starves to death. No. Just cook, buddy. I'm confused as to why he won't cook. That makes sense. Get over there. Once he makes enough meals so that everybody can have one, we'll uh, just let him do whatever he wants. Alright, well we have five meals. Everybody can eat once. Burning can go about his day. Okay, good. He's like, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep cooking. Clean that blood. Major break on war. Needs. Ugly. Sick. Hungry. Chaos corruption. Only 2.2%. Dwarves are... Resilient to that, so still need steel, man. We are about to be in a bad spot with no steel. Gaul is fully healed. Awesome, no permanent injuries for Gaul. How's our stone root coming in? 28%. Oh, yeah, this is gonna solve our issues. So, hopefully, between these two and some inside grow boxes, we'll be fine through the winter. Are you doing? No, let's not use that. Oh, he's like, you know what? I'm going to do what I want, partner. Well, I guess we're eating some cast meat. <laughs> How long is that going to last? Three hours. Perfect. All right. Oh, I was going to say everybody's asleep, but Gaul's still working out here. Now, if we get a cold snap or something, I'm going to be most unhappy. We need as much of this as we can if we're going to survive the winter again. Let's uh, let's have a zone. Uh, we'll call it whatever. Over here. Critical, clear. Animal corpses. Non-insects. I'm okay with butcher and chaos spawn. I just don't want to eat them. And what else did we have? Razor gore? We'll butcher them, but we will try not to eat them. So then for our meal, let's just say meat, no chaos spawn there. And now we don't have to have this forbidden. Chaos spawn meat rotted away. Good timing. This must be a worn out coat. 
poor. Oh, well, somebody just found something better to wear. We never finished our double-headed axe that we're working on. That's too bad. So, what's Gaul up to? He's still planting. Bindor is also planting. The bear, eating good on all the dead bodies over here. That's fine. We need to expand our little storage zone over here as well. So let's, I guess we'll take it back this way some. I don't want to lose my roof. <laughs> so if the roof starts caving in, we have big problems. But we'd like to get everything from here. That guy should be haulable as well. Now, he keeps putting meat out there. Let's put an end to that. We'll just expand this. Get that hauled over here. Where are you going? He's going to chill out. Bindor. Or is it Burundin? Who's our cleaner, man? Bindor. What are you doing, man? Oh, he's also our planter. He hasn't had much to do in that regard, so things have been really clean for a while. Drop those on the floor, partner. That'll get things done much faster. Do some cleaning. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So War is going to work over here. That'll give us plenty of storage space. More than we should need. Hopefully. I keep saying that. We keep getting more shisa. Who is the smith? Gaul. What is Gaul working on? Gaul is asleep. And there you have it. We have trained the, the bear for obedience. Where's the bear? What else can we train that bro on? Oh, the bear will do all kinds of stuff, man. Now we should be able to expand this zone. And then this is normal. This one's going to be low. So don't put anything back there unless this is full. Still needs steel. Man, these weapons take forever to make. So again, I want to do some exploratory mining, but I don't necessarily want to do it in here. So maybe we come over here, see if we can find some steel back this way. Mm, also, maybe we don't go that far. Our zone is expandable again. Boom. We never got our clothes that we wanted. We never got our toques. That's too bad. Getting the blocks broken down, and there's a ton of those, so that's great. We're almost done with this steel double-headed weapon, so some dude who had a knife, bind door. Look at that, a normal double-sided dwarven steel axe. Awesome. And the floors are getting smooth yet. That's good. Where's Gaul? Oh, well, we have plenty of meals. That's for sure. <laughs> We're going to go bad before we eat all the damn things. I wish maybe I can set up a room with a couple passive coolers and get those cooled. Maybe. I don't know. I like this. Like everything just... We almost had the perfect number of colonists. Look, that guy's dead. Why is he laying there? This one's dead. Why is he laying there? Where's the rest? Pretty much took out most of that herd, man. Ambrosia sprout, you don't say. Oh, well, how fortuitous. Sadly, these will never get light. So I think we can just... Eh, we'll see what happens. I don't think anything's going to happen with no light, though. That thing burnt out. When you're done smoothing that, refuel that. We need that light. Let's, uh, let's forbid this guy for the minute. 21 hours till he goes rotten, though. Stone root? Mm, gonna be a while yet. Ah, shisa. I let him butcher one. Why are we putting meals on this shelf? Eh, it's just laziness, I guess. 
Where is he gonna go with those meals? Oh, sweet Jesus. Dwarven goods. Muggins is injured. Gall. Gall doesn't really do social. Muggins is injured. War has a brain injury. Bindor doesn't do social. Barundin. That leaves you, partner. Oh man, they're slowly making their way. Oh, maybe Bindor's our guy. Ah! Ah! That sucks. From the Dwarven Hill, Carex. How long till you're healed, buddy? Well, we need to go talk to him, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? Alright, you... I don't want to, like, start leaving their... I don't want him to talk to him way up here, because I don't want him to leave their crap way out here, and then we have to go haul it if we buy stuff. Alright, look at that. That's done. We have a great area now. These can be moved. This stuff can be moved. No one's doing it. Bio. Alright, we're going to take Burundin out there. Where are they at? Where's the dude? Look at all these dwarfs. We can make some leather armor, probably. Not there, we can't. Where is... We haven't researched basic dwarven armor, have we? Apparel we have, yeah, not armor, though. Let's put a door over here. Alright, what are we going to sell? 15 cents? You rat bastard. <laughs> That's almost worthless. So we could buy a ton of stone bread. We don't want to sell any of our meat, which we don't really have a lot of anyways. Cloth. Cast spawn hide. Steel. Gromroll. They'll sell Gromroll, but we don't have the money for that. They don't care about any of the junky weapons we have. Let's, I guess we'll get rid of these. Uh, be, look at that, $25,000 for a golden helmet. That's bonkers, man. What else? Beer. Don't buy anything unless it says dwarven. <laughs> Valuable lesson. All right, pig skin. Light leather. Chaos. Well, we, we should make something out of that. It would be worth something if we turn it into something. Plain leather. Dog leather, we have enough to make something out of. Somehow we have camel, bear, we still have rhinoceros sitting around, 606, I'm tempted to buy a bunch of cloth, stone bread's so expensive, you can't even afford it, man, well, I guess that's going to be it, simple helmets, Oh, I'm tempted to get some cool helmets, though. <laughs> they have four of them. We're going to be in a spot where we can just make those. Can we? No. Problem is, all that steel is going to be so heavy, we can't even freaking haul it. All right, you get that stuff hauled back with you. Now, all these meals faring. Not the best. This guy, he's got nine hours. Where's Barundin? Hopefully he decides he wants to... Do some butchering. Oh no. Bindor. Is he our cook? Jeez Louise, you think I'd know this by now. Oh no, he's on it. Okay, so what we're not going to allow here is rotten. There, get rid of that. <laughs> Gall, when you're done, come over here and clean this because we don't want to get sick. Our shelves are full again. Our exploratory mining is proceeding. Which is at the expense of war's mood. Alright, good. We're doing walls now. I have to check the time, people. Oh, snap. There's a party on. Everybody attend, please. Well, that's it. Another episode in the bag. Next time, uh, I don't know if I want to get involved with smoothing this floor and these walls, but we'll continue the exploratory mining. We're looking for steel. That's critical importance right now. And we got the bedrooms done. We have slightly impressive across the board. Very nice. So while the party continues, hopefully War makes it over there before it ends. <laughs> but uh, we have plenty of food for the minute. There's more buffalo we can hunt if they start going bad. 
I can also make some more weaponry, which we will consider. Maybe I'll research armor, make everybody some cool armor now that it's warming up outside. So leave me some comments. I'd like to hear what you think about the mod, about the map, about all the crazy little dwarfs milling about. Look at that nonsense. It's madness. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.